Playing clarinet is one of the best routes into learning a wind instrument. Not only do you learn a lot of transferable skills, but it's also one of the most accessible price points for an instrument. I'm here to help you choose your first clarinet. I'm Tom, an orchestral specialist at Gear for Music, and I'm here to talk to you about a few key things to look for in a clarinet, as well as give you a jargon buster. The B-flat clarinet is the most popular type of clarinet, and there's a lot of music written for it. So you might think of things like Rapstein Blue or Stranger on the Shore. Other types of clarinets exist too, such as a bass clarinet, and you'll hear that in things like the Pink Panther theme or in the Nutcracker Suite. E-flat clarinets exist as well, and they're much smaller and more high-pitched, as well as A clarinets, which are more often found in orchestras. But this is the instrument that everyone would have learnt on to start off with. First things first, let's have a look at a few different parts of the clarinet. To start off with, you've got the mouthpiece, ligature, and the reed, and this is where the sound comes from. Next, we've got the barrel, and this can be adjusted in and out to help with tuning. Then we've got the top joint, the bottom joint, and the bell. This is important because it helps project the sound out of the instrument. This is a French or Bohème system clarinet. Other systems do exist, such as the German Erler system. And basically this means that the keys are configured in a different way. So for the purposes of this video, we are just going to be focused on the Bohème system clarinets. Most unit clarinets are made of a synthetic material such as ebonite. There are quite a few reasons for this. It's lighter, it's more durable, and less prone to cracking with extremes in temperature and humidity. More professional clarinets are made from wood, and this takes an extra element of looking after and maintenance. <laughs> Buffet or Buffet Crampon is one of the big names in the clarinet world. This is the Prodige clarinet and it's the successor of the popular B12 clarinets and it's still searched for today. So Buffet have been creating clarinets for over 200 years, so a lot of the pro features have actually filtered down into this excellent student model. Some of the nice features include leather pads, which are particularly seen at this bottom end here. And why is that important? So basically, it creates a good seal on the clarinet so you don't lose any air and get a nice, bold, controlled sound. Also, the silver-plated key works, so it feels great under the fingers, which is exactly what you want in a beginner clarinet. <laughs> Next up, we have the Playlight Gear for Music clarinet. So this is in a bright blue colour, so that adds that extra bit of fun and excitement to your playing, you can really stand out. It also comes in a lovely red finish as well. What's nice about this clarinet, similar to the Buffet, is it does have these blue needle springs. So they're found at the bottom of the clarinet just here. So that means that they really respond to your touch. So you can go flying around the clarinet and it will respond. You'll also see it has got the leather pads as well, which creates that extra seal that we talked about. What's also great is that you get everything you need to get going. So of course you've got your mouthpiece, your ligature, and you've got a reed included too. So as a mouthpiece cap, you even get a cleaning cloth, a screwdriver, some cork grease as well to help assemble the clarinet if it's a bit stiff. And you also get a really nice case, which is really quite small and nifty, and has been designed specifically for this clarinet. This is the Gear for Music clarinet, so it's pretty similar in a lot of ways to the Playlight clarinet that we've just had a look at. So you notice this is made from a resin, so this gives a really nice, warm, clear sound. And it also has the nickel-plated keys, which are more hard-wearing than the silver equivalents. 
Similar to the gear for music play like clarinet as well, you do also get the mouthpiece, the ligature and the reed and the accessories that I mentioned before. But on our website, you can also go for bundle options. So this would include a music stand and a box of reeds, for example. So this is great to get you started and actually take you on to having lessons and develop further. <laughs> This is the Jupiter JCL 700 clarinet, and this is manufactured in Taiwan on state-of-the-art machinery, which ensures precision in every instrument. Some of the really nice features on this clarinet that I've not seen on many others is actually it's got this raised tone hole here just on this CG, so it actually fits under the fingers quite nicely, not overstretching. Another nice feature is that you've got the offset trill keys here. So when you play clarinet, sometimes you have a bit of moisture that escapes just down here and often gets caught in these keys, so it helps to alleviate that issue. You'll also see we've got an adjustable thumb rest just on the back here too, so you can get into a comfortable playing position. Again, similar to some of the other clarinets I've discussed, it does have the silver plated key work and it's also got double bladder pads and this helps create a great seal that we've talked about as well. Finally, we have the LeBlanc LCL211 clarinet, which is also called the Debut. And as the name would suggest, it has been designed with beginner players in mind. It's made from a durable ABS resin, which has been specifically created, and it's called Resitone. So as the name again would suggest, it gives a really nice, bold, resonant sound. It does have the silver plated keyword that we've talked about, and it does again have the blue needle springs. So that means it is responsive to every touch. You'll also notice it has got these pads on here as well, but these are Valentino pads, which again are a premium brand of pads, so it ensures that great seal that you're after. On the back, we also have a hook. So if you did want to attach a sling to here, you can actually take some of the weight off around your neck so it helps make it easier for those younger players. <laughs> Overall, there are lots of different things to consider when looking at your first clarinet. So I've looked at the B-flat Bohem system today rather than some of the other systems, so that is one that's more popular. A lot of clarinets, as I've said, are made from synthetic materials such as ABS or resin, so these are better for younger players so there's less maintenance on them compared to their wooden counterparts. Again, silver plated mechanisms are probably the way to go, but if you're wanting something more durable and hard wearing, nickel would be certainly a consideration to make. Again, as I've said, there are a lot of different features on clarinets, so look out for the ones that really appeal to you, because ultimately it's a personal choice, and what feels and sounds great to you is going to be your own preference. There are other clarinets that are available, such as a clarineo, which is better for younger players in a lot of respects, it is lighter and easier to get started on. I hope you found this video insightful, and if you've enjoyed, click like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.